the uh, next question is going to be regarding community partnerships. Uh, candidate Connolly will be the first to answer. A little background information. Uh, community members across Jersey City, including many if not most of the people sitting in this room tonight, have really stepped up by donating hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours, their own time, to improve our community. The Jersey City Parks Coalition Big Dig is just one of the many events that highlight this kind of commitment that our community members have. What would be your vision for matching that commitment by providing the resources to expand on what the community has already started? Do you mean as councilman resources of the city? Yes. Oh. Well, my goodness, there are so many great uh, voluntary and, and civic-minded groups doing these great things through the city. I, I wouldn't want to suggest, or I, I wouldn't want to dampen that volunteerism by having them somehow subsidized by the city. I'm very involved and have been very involved with Big Dig and Park Conservancy and things. Uh, and it's, it's good to have the city's help in that. Yes, of course, the city can help that. Uh, we should certainly encourage and reward and honor and pay attention to the unsung heroes of every little neighborhood. And you all have them. It could be the woman, well, she's gone now, but the woman in my neighborhood. She used to go around and sweep people's stoops for them. And you gave her a sandwich or something. Uh, these unsung heroes are, are, are part of what makes living in Jersey City just a great place to live. Do we want to officialize it by making it some arm of government? I don't think we want to do that. I think good pe private people, individuals, are good people. And if, they, if we can make our city more affordable for them to stay, they will stay and love the city like we do. And when you love your city, you'll do what you can for your city. Uh, I don't know what more else I can say on this subject. Um, I, I'm currently finishing my Master's in Public Policy and Administration, and one of the things that we talked about uh, in our classes was actually um, some refreshing things that governments are doing to help uh, push volunteerism. Um, New York has an office, New York City has an office of volunteerism, and it's something that could conceivably be done here in Jersey City. Uh, it's utilizing current staff, utilizing current resources, but rededicating and making things more efficient so that we can actually bring and connect needy organizations, nonprofits, neighborhood associations, cleanup groups, park associations, to those members of the community that say, oh, I do want to do something good. You know, but I don't have the time to go and seek out and say, oh, what, this, what group is this, what group is that. There are the, the, and we learned during Sandy, the power of people who want to help one another in this community is so great. So if we actually start taking that, funneling that energy, making sure that we actually connect those people who want to help out. I mean, there's high school students, we're college students, and we have, 30, we have community college, two universities. We have all these different resources of people who want to get involved in things. The uh, fraternities and sororities, the, uh, these organizations all have members who want to contribute to the community. Now, what do they need? They need a way to manage it to get into the areas that they need to. Why not have, right now we have a, a great thing the RNA is doing, a, a clean up this Saturday. Uh, I'm sure there's probably be hopefully you know, 30, 40, if not more people there helping out. Why can't we expect that to be a recurring thing? Not just a one-time thing that happens once every couple of weeks or once a month, but we can actually divide that and move, make sure that there's a way to funnel those energies into the community and from the community. Thank you. Candidate Waterman. What I believe is that we need to partner with the school system. And the reason why I believe we need to partner with the school system because children need to learn how to work in community service. I, I believe that if we partner, I believe if we partner with the school system, a lot of these community org organizations can be an example for the children. Um, I know now that the children have to make up community hours in order to complete uh, a grade. What we need to do with the community services is start to partner with them, and then this way here the children can go to the community service to make up the hours. What that does is teach our children responsibility, it teaches our children to give back to the community, and not only that though, it teaches the community to bond with the children. 
So often we don't know how to bond uh, with one another because we don't spend time with one another. And I think that can be a good source for the community and the children uh, to begin to bond, to help build a tighter community. Thank you. Candidate Rivera. I want to echo uh, my colleague Joyce Waterman's uh, words. I mean, you know, getting the kids involved is uh, is key, and uh, you know, it, it, it's it's uh, it's important to keep them focused, and uh, they you will, they will build better character. But I tell you, these community partnerships, uh, these groups have flourished. Um, it's it's been. Uh, since I've been on, on, on uh, my road to uh, running for council at large that I've gotten to uh, meet a lot of these uh, community groups and I tell you they're awesome, you know, and uh, they have so much info that uh, the city could use, so much resources, you know, and they get things done in spite of, and that's important. You know, these guys have a drive or these uh, men, men and women have a drive to get things done. And uh, that type of uh, focus, again, going back to the youth, is, is, is something that our youth can use as a role model. Uh, they're a big nutrient to our city, and it's something that is very appreciated. And uh, I think moving forward with them, uh, they can, and they will make our city better by giving them our, their insight to, so our city can move forward in a positive way.